Good day, Tree Mugs here. I wanted to take a look at the sheet bend, and this is an excellent way of temporarily tying two ropes together. The sheet bend is not recommended for life support, such as lengthening a climbing rope, for instance. It is also not recommended for very heavy rigging. The Zeppelin bend is a better choice in those cases. However, the sheet bend is still a very popular choice for tying two ropes together, so I wanted to explore it a bit. So if you look closely, you will recognize this general shape here. So the sheet bend is just a bowline that's tied using two separate ropes. So the one rope forms the rabbit hole, the other rope forms the rabbit up through the hole behind the tree and back down. So I want to explore a couple different scenarios where we use the sheet bend as well as a couple different ways of tying it and then also the uh, quick release version which is known as the slippery sheet bend. So in the first scenario we have a rope hanging down from the tree and we have a rope that we want to tie onto it and both of these ropes are equal diameter. So this is the easier version to tie because this is the one that we know already as the bowline. So if you like to tie the bowline this way, you can tie it like this. So that's the sheet bend. Or if you like to tie it with the overhand flip method, just take the tail on top and through and up, then around behind and back down. So that's the sheet bend where both ropes are equal diameter. Now if we wanted to tie the quick release version known as the slippery sheet bend, instead of tucking the tail down through, what we're going to tuck instead is just a bite of the tail down through. Like that. And then when this gets up to the climber, all they have to do is pull that tail, pop it out, and it's untied. So that's the first scenario where both ropes are equal diameter. Now we're going to look at another common scenario where you have a rigging line hanging down to the ground and you want to tie on a smaller diameter rope onto it. So this is a 5 8 rope. I want to tie a half inch rope onto it. So this is a different form even though it results in the same knot. So to tie this we're going to take a bite of the larger diameter rope the smaller diameter rope, the tail is going to come in through the back, it's going to go around behind, and then it's going to tuck through and under like that. Then you're going to dress and set it. So that also is a sheet bend. Even though it looks different from the first form, it's really just upside down and backwards. It is the exact same knot. So as I say, this is the recommended uh, way of tying it when uh, one rope is thicker than the other. You would tie it like this. It's supposed to be stronger. And this is also the way that's normally shown in books, this form of the sheet bend. So again, to tie it this way, we're going to take the thicker rope, we're going to form a bite upside down like this. The tail of the smaller line is going to come in from behind going to go around the back and then it's going to tuck under like that and then dress and set it. And now for this scenario if we wanted to form the slippery sheet bend version instead of tucking the tail like this we're going to tuck a bite of the tail through the same spot like that. So that is a couple different ways of tying the sheet bend in two different scenarios. So that is the sheet bend and the slippery sheet bend.